Hi, everyone. I'm Michael Kahn, and this is Collecting with Kylo um, on the 2Med2 2 2 Star Wars Network. This is actually the inaugural um, or first episode of it. Um, just, you know, I've been talking with uh, my buddy from Kylo Customs for a while, and um, I believe now it may be up it may be debatable whether or not I am a Funko Pop collector. Um, I still say I do not collect Funko Pops, but a few people um, are starting to disagree with me uh, more than others, I should say. Um, but yeah, I have a plethora of Funko Pops that I need to um, well, take out, not like even unbox, like take them out to show you, but to like take them out of the cases they were delivered in. Um, so with that, we have, what's up guys, what's happening everybody out there. Um, we're running a couple minutes late. I was just in a, uh, another live chat talking about whether or not, um, legends are legends or canon and what you consider to be legends and canon and everything. It was actually a really good conversation, um, that we had. So after this, you should go check out the replay um, for Darth Daddy Lungo. I will try and find, um, I'll at least put a, a link to it um, for whoever's watching this video later. Um, it was a pretty good chat. So, you know, don't know what's going to happen after I left because, you know, I'm kind of, I'm pretty much the glue that holds everything together of everywhere I go. So, you know, we'll just leave it at that. I'm just full of shit. I don't fucking know. Um, but all right. So, um, in the chat, we have talking with us. We have, um, Nick and Charles and Mr. Rez and Dale. Uh, I'm just doing it early today. So Dale can, you know, hang out. doesn't have to leave after a half hour and say that he's got to go make dinner or go to work or anything. Um, but all right. So, um, yeah, we got eight guys or eight people in here. Everybody say hi. We know, so we know who we got, who we're talking to. Uh, most of them are, uh, they're saying hi. I think, you know, there's always a couple people that like to stay quiet. Um, right. but you know, we'll see. It, sometimes it takes people a while to get out, come out of their shell. You know, there's people that will come in here and talk in the chat nonstop, but they don't want to be on camera. They don't want to even put up a picture, um, you know, and, and talk for whatever reason. I mean, I don't like hearing my voice, um, but I don't have to hear my voice when I'm talking to you. So it's just when I'm editing or on replays, that's why I like the live chat because I can be lazy and not have to do shit. It's if I actually start putting them on a podcast that I have to do a little bit of editing, especially when we get some dead air, or, um, you know, whatever happens. But um, yeah, so. I'm just going to get right into it because there's um, kind of, I, I, well, I mean, I kind of got a lot, um, you know, and um, this first one, I'll show you, hang on, no, hang on, we'll go right here, I got, I at least got them somewhat ready, or, but, um, uh, I've got a couple to show too. So after, uh, let's see, got right, so here, that's I'm trying to show you this. This is the size of the box I got. So I don't know if I, how I can show you, but yeah. So all right, there's a size comparison of the box I got. The first box I have. So it's a uh, it's a pretty decent sized box. Um, I don't know. My uh, my puppy's hanging out with me, so she's making it more difficult to do this now. But I'm just going to um, – these ones are all from Force Friday um, or Triple Force Friday. Um, I do have – so I should have the whole collection, I believe, of them. Um, I might have one or two in the other room that aren't in here in this box because I don't know offhand. Well, I know – I think the Rose one offhand wasn't available when I ordered them originally. Um, or was sold out or whatever it was, but, 
Um, okay, so yeah, we're just gonna dive right into it. Um, and you know, this would be a lot easier if I just use my scanner, but we have a box. Uh, so there's gonna be a bunch of these. Oh, and the all right. Well, the first one I pull out, the Mandalorian. Sweet. <clears throat> um, and Kylo might be able to give a better ha or have a better idea. He he's more he collects pops, um, which is where I am not a pop collector. Um, oh, so yeah. there are a few variations of this. Um, there's this this one's three twenty six. I don't know what the numbers are on the other one, um, but I know they have one that came. They have one where he's holding um, a gun sideways, which I think I have that one also um that's the, that that's the new york con one i think yeah um i don't know if that's the one I, they sent me or not um i have to see actually i'm gonna go check right now because now i want to know um and the best thing is i can talk without you even seeing me i can't get out of here i'm stuck by fucking funkos um yeah i got a message from funko that i won a pop and they said pick which one you want and I was like, okay, um, I'll, I can pick the Mandalorian or I can pick this one or that one. And I was like, well, I already have the Mandalorian, but I don't think I wanted um, what the other ones were. So I was just like, fuck it. I'll take another Mandalorian. And um, this is the box that one came in. I'll take the other Mandalorian because I can give it away to someone or do whatever um is in there and for anybody that's new i am horrible with the chat so if i stop talking it's because i'm reading the chat and if i'm reading the chat i'm not talking so the only time i'm ever going to read the chat is that there's someone else talking or doing whatever so if i'm not saying hello to you or acknowledging you um i had someone there like i was in the chat for five minutes and kept saying hi and you didn't say anything it's because it's i didn't notice i'm not you know i'm an asshole for a bunch of other things but that's not one of them um but yeah, so they told me, you know, you'll hear back from us in a week or two um, that we're going to send it to you. Um, and then it'll take four to six weeks after that. And I was like, okay, in, you know, two months, I'll forget about it. And it will show up three days later at my door. And I was right. It is this guy. It is the Mandalorian number 330. Um, I'm trying to, it's the, it's the one with the two guns. Um, so this, or the, the one gun, he's got the pistol. So this is the New York comic-con, um, fall shared exclusive. And depending on, um, you might have a better idea on this because I know you're in the kind of in the pop game. Um, I keep saying that, that I'm not because I'm not in the pop game, but, um, it goes anywhere on in the pop you, game. Um, it sells anywhere between twenty and two hundred dollars. Um, I think the one that's two hundred dollars, if it was from New York Comic Con, so it had the New York Comic Con sticker on it. But that's how a lot of people get you on eBay. They'll, I, you know, I could go on eBay and say that this is the New York Comic Con one because it is, but it's not actually from there because the sticker is different. Right. Uh, um, this is a shared convention one, so if you went to any of the conventions, you could pick this up. The New York Comic Con one is two hundred dollars. This one's twenty or thirty dollars, or you know whatever it is. Um, so yeah, that's where I I fell into that trap when I first started acquiring because I don't collect um, a few pops and looking for some. Especially, uh, most of you already have heard me talk about you know the the only thing I really cared about the sticker for was the celebration um, pops because I was at that celebration and. It was my first one and wanted those pops. And there you go. That's what we're doing today. Um, I don't know if I like that red, that orange color anymore, but anyways. Um, so I was trying to find them and I'd go through and I'd search and I'd find a good price on it. And it didn't have the, it was just the shared one. It wasn't the whatever. Well, I can go pick them up wherever and get them. But I just wanted, I wanted it with the sticker because that's what, that's where I was when I first got it. Um, 
So, okay. All right. So I got to say, whoever packed this box did a pretty good job because the first one was that Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. um, and then here we go. We got Cara Dune. Um, I wonder if I can make this bigger. Oh, no. Yeah. So we got Cara Dune. She is number 327 on there. Um, so, so far, two out of two with the. Oh, I should put this back in the box. What's in the box? In the uh, box today. And it's actually kind of good, too, because I have the next two days off. So I can unload all these. And I have, I don't know, you guys have heard me talk about that new bookcase I got. I got, you know, I actually spent real money on a bookcase and um, had to convince my girlfriend that it was worth it to spend that much money on a bookcase because I needed one because you spent $200 on one. Like I'm looking at it right now and it's sagging down. I'm waiting for it to collapse because. It, you know, it can't hold books, can't hold bookcases anymore. It's got a 25 pound limit or whatever it is. And um, this one, you know, that I got is, I forget if it's 65 pounds or 75 pounds. So it can hold the books. Um, but I, I mean, I've had the bookcase for months. I just don't have anything in it. It's just been sitting there because I have to transfer and everything. So this will actually give me an excuse now to do it. So, um, anyways, all right. We have Jana. She is from The Rise of Skywalker. Um, as we know, well, maybe not as we know, but you should know if you're here. That's not true. If you're just a Funko fan in, in, in here, which most people, uh, the names I see, um, I know. So, oh, Rancor Review. Um, glad to join us. I've been meaning to check out your podcast. I'm not being a dick saying like, oh, thanks for coming here. I'm going to check it out now because you're here. Um, you know, the guys in here can tell you, special, especially Anthony, um, you know, I used to listen to 140 po Star Wars podcasts a week, and they all got erased. And then I went down to 60, and they got erased again, and then I went back down to 60, and they got erased again. So I just started building it back up as I went on day by day. And um, instead of going and trying to find the ones that I already had, I was like, well, I'll, you know, as they come around in my news feed and I see them or I remember, hey, I haven't heard these guys in a while, I'll put them back in there because, um, you know, I'm happy with the list I have now. I think I'm back up to about 60, but that is, you know, going to grow bigger, um, you know, and yeah, so there's that. Um, okay. And we have this guy here, um, Cal Custis. Jana's uh, Lando's daughter. I'm guessing. Um, well, Jana is Lando's daughter. Well, in the movie, we're led to believe he's either going to try and hook up with her or she's his daughter. In the visual dictionary, it tells us that she was kidnapped um, at the age of two or whatever it is. I don't know the exact, remember the exact details. Um, she was kidnapped and taken by the kidnapped by the first order at you know when she was little and then it also says that lando's daughter was kidnapped by the first order so it's setting everything up for that um to be to be that so um yeah um i do like to stay i see we have eight people watching and 11 likes so that's good that means you know, even if you can't stop in and just stop in and give it a like, because I mean, I'll never be big enough that it's going to hit an alg algorithm where I'm going to hit a Funko line or, you know, and end up with thousands of views right away. But, you know, that's it is what it is. Now we got a Lando Calrissian guy over here, um, you know, and his you can see he's wearing the same shirt that he was wearing and. Um, so solo, a sky, a sky. Uh, I can't even talk right now. Um, that word story? Yeah, there you go. Those are words. Yeah, I, um, I kind of liked it. I like the way that they uh, they did that one. They had uh, old man Lando rocking the um, the uh, young Lando outfit from Solo movie. They even had that when he was in the uh, Millennium Falcon and the uh, Rise of Skywalker too. I thought that was a nice little uh, tip to the uh, Solo movie. But now, I'm just going to let you know right now, there are a few, I do have a few doubles that have come up um, 
just because they have. Um, I went yesterday, and I'm a fucking idiot for this, but I did a little shopping, and GameStop messed up my order once again, and the last time they admitted that they sold some of my pops, um, that they didn't know somebody put them out for sale or whatever by accident. Um, this time they told me, so like I had to reorder them there. So I'm like, I'm not going to be able to get that. I'm actually going to have to search for, um, this time they told me that there were some that didn't come in, some that I already put a deposit on that they were back ordered. Um, that, and like, they, I know they don't come out yet. The other ones don't come out yet, but some of them are already out. Like the one they told me they couldn't get, I was like, okay. And I went and found it on the wall. And I was like, how come you guys have this on the wall when you don't even have it in inventory yet? And he's like, I don't know. Um, so I was able to pick up that one. But, you know, it's the same thing that they do. You buy three, you get a fourth one for free. Um, and if you – I couldn't find any more Star Wars ones, so I either had to pick Star Wars ones that I already had in order to give them away to someone, do it as a contest, um, trade with someone, whatever it is. Um, Oh, Lieutenant Connix, who I would like to see a lot more of, um, you know, if Billy Lord's up for it, because obviously we have, um, you know, if she wants to keep the Star Wars legacy going with her family more or, you know, just whatever. I just she's maybe an interesting character to delve more into, um, but we'll see. But yeah, so. Um, the reason I said I was a fucking idiot was one of the ones that the one store I went to that messed up my stuff, uh, my order, um, it was like, okay, you, you can pick, um, something off the wall and when I'm here, I'll grab this one. Uh, you can grab something off the wall. And I said, all right, well, if I'm grabbing something off the wall, I know this one doesn't count because it's not one of the nine dollar ones or ten dollar ones or whatever um or if it does count can i still get you know buy this pay full price for this and get another one for free and i pull out this guy um which as a kid growing up pete's dragon was one of my favorite disney movies if not my favorite one to go along with like fox and the hound and i said how much is this one figuring it's gonna be 1999 um 29.99 like somewhere in that range um, and I figured, you know, if I can buy this and get another pop for free, cause I'm buying the other ones, you know, I'm going to do it. And he says, you can just have it. And I said, what? He said, yeah, it's in, it's in penny stock. I said, what the hell is penny stock? Well, I guess at GameStop, when they have pops that are supposed to be pulled off the wall, they send a notice. The pops are supposed to be pulled off the wall. If you find those pops, they're no longer supposed to be sold for retail. Mm -hmm. They're a penny. So I got this bad boy for a penny, nice. which, then brought, which then brought me to. Now, this is the dilemma I have because I don't collect Funko Pops. This one on the back, it's a twofer, Pete's Dragon. It's Elliot and hologram, whatever, dragon form and that. So that one I'm actually going to look for and find um, any of my collector friends out there. If you see anything. Kylo, if you see anything about that, I actually have to look it up. I haven't thought about it. Um, but, you know, the books, the, the box isn't in the best shape. Um, it's nothing bad, but, you know, the edges are done. But, you know, I'm not I'm not a collector of Funko Pops, like I always say. So, um, you know, it don't, I don't really care about the condition that much. You know, it's got a piece of tape on it that shouldn't be there. But, you know, since I don't collect them. But, yeah, it was a fucking penny for this bad boy. And this is something from my childhood that I really like. Um and it sells for, I looked it up in the, in the guide, it sells for 25 or 30 bucks if I was going to turn around and sell it. But, you know, um, that's what I told him. I was like, dude, so if I buy you lunch someday, if I just stood here and went through every single one of your pops, because they probably have about eight feet um, with about six shelves and they go back three or four. If I'm like, if I bought you lunch one day, would you just sit here and scan them all? If I, and he's like, you don't have to buy me anything. Just come in and do it. People do it all the time. And I was like, shit. All right. You know, start pulling out some pops, get them for a penny, sell them for five bucks. I mean, who knows how many there is on there, but um, okay. Now, getting back to the um, Star Wars shit, this guy, if you have been here before, you have seen this. 
because you know I like to pick these guys up fairly often. I Those actually have I have Those quite a few snaps. I have quite a few of them sitting on my uh, my shelf over there. Two of them are on the shelf, and two of them are still in the case. Because um, one of them, I'm still waiting for someone to give me, send me their address. They just kind of um, never sent it to me. Um, so I'm still waiting for that. And, you know, you'd, I, you'd be surprised how many people say, I don't want that pop. I don't want anything. I just signed up for the fun of it. And it's like, you know, I'm – enticing people to sign up because I have a giveaway, but people don't want what I'm giving away, but they're still signing up anyways. They're not watching or doing anything. It's just the way it is. Now this guy, this guy, I really like the, uh, maybe it's cause it's the only one I have of it. Um, but this guy came in too. We have the first order tread speeder. So this is where you get the, uh, these guys fly now. They fly yeah. now. That's what I was going to say. That's the scene where, oh, my God, they fly now. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, Don't mind right. me, Mike. I'm actually looking up what you what you asked about, so you keep on showing. I'm just I'm, – if I'm looking down, I'm trying to look up that, that uh, dragon thing. Yeah. Um, it's number 206. It's – the one that you're talking about, the translucent one. Yeah, or, it's like you're gonna tell me it's some like shit crazy amount of money. No, it's like it was an Amazon exclusive, which you might still be able to find it on Amazon, but it's but what it's selling for off of that price guy's forty seven bucks. Which ain't bad. No. Um I mean it was released in twenty sixteen, so it's a four year old figure from a Comic Con that's not bad at all for a two pack. Let's see. See, all you people that want to argue with me, I don't collect Funko Pops. I would know these things if I did. I just happen, if I see something for Star Wars, and I like it, and I can afford it, I buy it. You know, when I bought that fucking R2-D2 popcorn holder, um, whatever the hell it is, people didn't start going around saying I collect popcorn buckets, which I actually now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I yeah, so maybe I do collect popcorn buckets, assholes. I don't know. Yeah, seven or eight of them from the movies. And I did get that R2-D2 bucket. I think uh, you were at the bar doing a live stream with, um, what was his name? Mike. Uh, okay, with, with you said Mike? Mike, yeah, his name's Mike also. Okay, you, you guys were there, and like towards the end, it was like some girl's birthday. She sat down yeah. the for a few minutes. Yeah, I, actually, I think that was... Yeah, I had the same one. Like, yeah, awesome. Because I, I couldn't believe how much you charged for them. But there's no way in hell I was gonna let that sit there because they only had like five in the theater, and I got to see the the uh, second showing of it on opening night, and they only had five left. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get one of those. Yeah. I just, well, you know, I mean, that's that's the thing. It's expensive, but I mean, th my my whole thing is if, if I if I wanted to sell it to you for twenty five bucks, you're gonna buy it for twenty five bucks. Yeah. Um, or, or most people are gonna buy it for twenty five bucks. Well, so it's twenty five bucks. It's like if you if you buy a large popcorn and a large pop. If you buy that, then for twenty five dollars you can buy this too. Is the way I looked at it. You know, call it rationalization, whatever. But here we have Finn. Um, I think this is my only Finn pop. I'm not sure. Um, I'd have to look and see. Um, the only other Finn pop I really like or would want to get is the um, Bloody Mask FN 2187 but I think that one has gone up in, in price a little bit I don't, I don't know um, he's come down a lot when I originally got him I didn't get him at retail and I, somebody sold him to me for like 45 bucks so he's come down a lot I'm kind of kind of pissed now that I see people selling them for like 20, 22, 23 okay. now yeah, see, that's the thing. It's like, so one of the ones that Best Buy fucked up on for me, not Best Buy, Best Buy is the other ones that are assholes right now because my IG-11 that I've talked about that I now have to, they basically told me, um, contact the bank. We're not going to do anything for you. Because um, they were You talking about the, the IG, Black Series? The Black Series, yeah. They, would, they, they wouldn't let me, um, I, in order for me to send them back, 
I would have to sh ship them back to them. The shipping was going to be free, but I'd have to buy boxes and all that other crap, and it wasn't worth it for me. Um, so UPS wouldn't take take them. The condition the boxes are in, UPS won't take them. So I actually have to box them up and you know put them buy a box like or or whatever and put them in there and do them separately because they came on separate things and everything. And so Best Buy wouldn't do anything for me. So I just said, fine, well, you know, well, let, we're going to see what the bank says about it in the credit card company because you're refusing. And the lady said to me, she told me, she's like, that's what you're going to have to do. And I said, fine. Um, yeah, but no, uh, GameStop, um, one of the ones that they have the uh, Mandalorian exclusive is Death Watch um, for the Funko Pop. And that one, I'll punch you if you show me that you got it already. Yeah, that's the one I want. That's what I'm looking for. I was, I was on, on the phone earlier today. That's why I came in a little bit late besides putting the dogs out. I, I might have a beat on one. I'm going to have to look into it tomorrow. Okay, that would be awesome. So, but yeah, I'll, so. I'll get a hold of you and I'll, I'll let you know. All right. Yeah, I mean, so I ordered it, I put a deposit on it. Um, and I mean, so it's, I say deposit, it's only $5, but still it's half the price of the pop. So, you know, I put a deposit on it. So you'd think I'd be getting it. And all of a sudden they're like, um, oh, sorry, it was over ordered. So we can't get it in. And I'm like, what do you mean it's over ordered? Like, I know in a couple of weeks, you're going to have the next line, the next bump of them come out. Um, or, the, you know, they're going to make an, another, I know I'll be able to get it from GameStop again. Um, that somebody's going to have it. I've already seen them on secondary market for, buy from stores um, for not that much more for like 16 bucks or whatever. Um, and I was thinking about just go ahead and buying it, spend an extra four or five dollars. Um, Cause like, if I get it from, if I get it from you, that's what I'm going to spend with shipping on it. So, you know, it's all right. That, that one might actually be, might've been more, it might've been $12. So, you know, it's, but I'd rather give my money to uncle Sam and for the post office than pay these scalpers. Um, but yeah, so they said that you know they're it was over ordered, so they can't get it. So that's where I stopped into another GameStop, and they're like, "That never happens. There's no such thing as being order, over ordered. If you order it, they'll get they get it, and they you know." And then they try and do their shit that where they try and get you to come to their GameStop, not the other one. And I've never heard of that. They must be stealing it on you and whatever. And it's like, all right, possible, but, yeah, which they probably did. One of the employees is scalping them. I mean. It, uh, there's a store here, actually the store in the mall, they have an employee that does that there that will turn around the lie and say that, that your pre-order didn't come in. And then, you know, we've seen this person purchase them, you know, when they went on their break and walk out with your figure. And then next thing you know, it's on eBay for in her eBay, in their eBay store or their Mercari uh, store and they're already selling it. Yeah. Well, that's like I was saying, you know, you never know what's going to happen with the price of pops. Um, that Mandalorian one that I got, you know, depending on who you are, it's $20 or $200, depending on the sticker on it or, or who's going to buy it. Um, the Sith Trooper that was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, you buy it for $10. It was instantly $100. Um, if if you weren't at Comic-Con and somebody bought it, it was instantly selling for $100. Um, it's now $350. So... I that didn't was buy it for a general I, release. What's that? That was supposed to have been like, like what they call, and what you might know is like a first to market to where at that Comic Con would be the first release, like the first to market release. And then it was supposed to have been uh, like a wide release. It was just going to have like that sticker on it, you know, kind of like the one Mandalorian that's out there that has the. Uh, what is it? The, the D23 sticker on it. And it's like 250, 50, 60 bucks. Yeah. yeah. It's the same one that, that you just pulled out earlier, but it just has a different sticker on it. So that's yeah. why. It's that much. And, yeah. So that one, that one, like you were just saying, if it has the D23 sticker is I'm just making these prices up, but using it for an example is $250. If it has a New York comic-con sticker on it, it's $200. If it has a convention sticker, it's $25. Um, but I'm pretty sure that Sith Trooper... Um, I, I, um, I don't know. Anyways, I'll show you this really quick. IG-11. Um, so IG-11 here, this is this guy. And I'm going to put this to the side because we're going to check something. Um, 
I got an IG-11 that's different. Um, but we're going to check that later on when I finish up with this so you I can know, we can you see. You got the pack, right? From I did. Okay. Yeah. So, so for those of you that are on here that don't normally follow me or can't check in all the time, um, I do my live chat where um, it's unscripted. There's really no notes. You know, there's no show notes. Half the time I don't invite people or if I do, it's 10 minutes before or an hour before like, Hey, why don't you come on here? Because, you know, I'm not really much for setting stuff up and I never know what's going to happen. Um, and at the end of it, I open up some merch and there's always merch. I have merch to open. Um, you know, always I'm looking at a box of merch I have to open. I know I got a couple things that came in that, um, I'll have books for merch to open. Um, you know, so we got we got about a month's worth of stuff if I don't get anything else to for merch um, before the merch part runs out of it. So um, we got the first order jet trooper. They fly now. They fly now. Um, oh, I'll check on the next one. That's where I was going to check. I think the 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 Sith trooper. I don't know if it's a variant. Um, if the Sith trooper is the same or not. Oh, look, this, I should probably make sure no one finds this. It's my receipt. Um, yeah, see, that, that's the thing. It's like, so, oh, I thought these came, from, I didn't know these came from GameStop. But, yeah, these came from GameStop. So, I go to the GameStop store to order them. Um, just because I like going there and it kind of, you know, gives you the part of the hunt. And you pick them up and, you know, here, you know, you get one for free or do this or that. But you got to pay three dollars for shipping and handling for each one of them, um, unless there's a certain dollar amount. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look into that because I started going to the GameStop so I could pick them up. Oh, here we go. Um, oh, here's the Sith Jet Trooper. Um, but we were actually talking about the Sith Trooper, right? Um, but this is a Sith Jet Trooper, so it's the same as the other one I just opened, um, except for he's red, right? I think I don't know. Well, I don't. I don't know where I just put them in the pile of shit. We can check that out really quick. And I got to, um, yeah. So we'll see what the difference is. Um, but that's the other thing I got. I got to check into because it, it's really bad to try and show you guys. Like here you go, and show you right now what it looks like. I need to set up my camera so that I can have it. And show you where it's better than just doing this or the lighting's better because I have a light over there, a light over there. I actually have lights. Um, okay, they are a little bit different. Um, here's I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you out of here for a second, but brother. <clears throat> um, I can't see, so you're gonna have to let me know um, how it is. Uh, the the barrel of the gun is different. Um, the one has two barrel. Which one? Um, Let me grab mine and I'll take them out of the box and I'll put them up to my to my camera. Okay. Yeah the the Sith Jet Trooper has a barrel on top of the other one, where the um, First Order Jet Trooper um, has it side by side, kind of. Um, yeah, so there's that, you know. So then, then Funko will turn around and make some more, do something else, and have it come out with, you know, just they'll change the helmet. And if you're collecting them to collect them, you're gonna buy it because it's different. If you like troopers, you're gonna buy it because it's different. Um, you know, when when you can get into these novelty or you know niche markets. Um, people collect red shit, so you're going to buy another red one because it's red and whatever. Um, but, so, um, yeah, so let's see. Um, somebody else we had that, uh, um, so everyone after, remind me that I need to get um, Rancor Review into my um, playlist, not because they're here but because I've meant to and just haven't done it. Um, Rancor Review, did you, or what are, are you on Bod, uh, 
Bean Pod or Podbean um, or Google, because I know like Charlie Skywalker's, I've been trying to catch his, but he's not on those two. And those are the two that I use. And pretty much everybody's on those. Um, you know, they go on those before they get onto Apple because Apple's harder to get to. But, um, okay. We have Ray on here. Um, which is, I thought, I just looked at the back. I thought Dark Ray was um, part of this line, too. Um, when Kyla comes back, we're going to have to ask him. Yeah, Dark um, Ray is. Is part of this line? Yes, sir. Or this way? All right, well, here's yeah. BB-8, here's BB because she's not on the back here. So I don't know if that's something they held off on until these pops came out on Force Friday. Um to keep as a joke. So oh, I don't know. I wasn't even I wasn't even paying attention to you people. Um BB eight. I don't know if I told that or not. So BB eight's on there. Um I think Dark Ray, she is part of but I think she is in like wave two. Okay. She's in like wave two of the because I just grabbed her box too, so I can take a look at Hey, hey, hey. This is a family show, dude. <laughs> well, I ain't that lucky. <laughs> Not that lucky. Yeah, that was uh, um, Pete Feltzer posted the other day. Um, he's kind of like me. He posts questions knowing that it's going to get him in trouble, even though it shouldn't. But, um, you know, people are posting pictures of Ben half naked and, you know, the things they want to do to his body and this and that. If I posted a picture of Ray half naked and talked about the things I want to do to her body, there would be so much upheaval. Well, I mean, nobody really cares what I have to say. So, um, but you know, like if it went around um, Twitter, you know, it would be it's sexist, it's this and that, and everything. Um, so if I yeah, that was Star Wars character that I would do things to such and such body with the picture. She would come and she'd probably beat the living shit out of me. And it would be okay because that's she's pretty badass and she's not MMA anymore. But Kara doing it come whoop my ass. But I actually said what I thought. And there you go. It's, it's another um, Cara Dune. Cara Dune. Anyway. Well, it's not funny because it, it's like it's like ATAT at at. Um, it's pronounced both ways in canon and said both ways and written both ways. So. Um, Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader. Like, well, no, I mean, it doesn't bother me if, if someone wants to, you know, do things, you know, turn turn um, Adam Driver into a human cherry stem or whatever the hell they're gonna do with their tongue. All all the power to them. They can talk about it. But when I talk about, I want to do the same thing to Daisy Ridley. You know, there shouldn't be any discourse, or it should be proportionate, um, or it shouldn't be the same. Um, people. All right, so I'm gonna check that screen right, real my... quick to show you the, the the difference in the two, if it'll do it. Yeah, yeah, I got it for you. So, like the the uh, the first order one does have that extra, um, I guess barrel. Barrel. Yeah, turn, on turn it so we can turn it like you're pointing the gun to us. So more. Yeah. Yeah, so like the barrels at me. Um, yeah, three barrels there. I get it closer. There we go. So there's the three barrels on on his, on the first order one. Then just the one barrel with the scope on the on the um, on the uh, Sith troop or jet trooper. So I'm still trying to get used to how the, how the camera angle is on this thing when I'm showing stuff like that. But yeah, they're very very similar except for you got the extra two barrels on the on the first order one and it doesn't have a scope. It's got a very tiny tiny scope on the very top. Okay. Camera to. You yeah, you're not, it's not it's not so, focusing in, but I, I, I we got you. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, so that's what. Um, um, yeah, 
I uh that's what we that's what we got. Um so we have Gary Busey right here. Um as you other people may know him as Cole. I thought that was Nick Nolte. Well, they're the same person. Yeah. That's what um when uh when me and, when, when me and Mike were doing um our um course on coach's corner and that's why Anthony I am a network now because I've decided I'm a network um because you have the you have Two Med Two's Bacta Tank every Monday at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. It's a live chat. Um, so that's been renamed um, Two Med Two's Bacta Tank. Um, you have Coach's Corner, Chorus on Coach's Corner, whenever myself and Michael Pappas get together, which could be next weekend. It could be two months from now. Um, trying to just do... Um, you know, whatever we can and talk about Star Wars. And, you know, we've, it's much more fun when we're side by side with each other. It's just the hour and a half of two hours, even though it's in New York city, just traveling is a, a pain in the ass. So, um, you know, and getting our schedules to match up anyways, I, you know, he's, he's coming home. I'm, I'm going to work when he's coming home or vice versa. So it doesn't really work out, but, um, Okay, you have Poe Dameron. Look at that sexy piece of meat. Poe Dameron pop was what started me into the Star Wars pops. I got him for Christmas a couple years ago. Um, let's see. What's the most somebody said what's the most obscure Star Wars Funko Pop there is out there? Um one of the, I don't really, because I don't collect Funko Pops, I'm not too adverse on this. Um, I think it's what some of the earlier ones, like 2012 San Diego Comic Con. I think they go for like one or two of them when I've looked them up, go for like six grand or something like that, or 12 grand. Um, you have quite a few in the few, uh, like seven, $800 range, a bunch in the three, four, $500 range. Like, um, when you were showing us your, um, the thing that got it going, that was the other one collecting, collecting with Kylo, um, is the third thing on the network that who knows, this could be the only one that could be whenever I get shit to talk about Funkos with. So, so I don't collect, see, I don't collect Funko pops. So if I'm going to share my Funkos with someone, I need to do it with someone that collects. So that's the only right way. So that once again is proof that I don't collect Funko pops. Um, but um, I don't know where I was going before that rant, but yeah, um, you have the uh, Leia Bosch. Um, I think those are three or 400 bucks each. Um, you get the Stormtrooper Han and Luke's. Yeah, those are like three or 400 bucks. And then there's a couple that, uh, that I would love to have, but the uh, um, Biggs Dark Lighter. Um, his, he has one. Uh, his is, I don't remember what it is, but it's insanely priced. Um, I think that one's like seven or eight. Um, there's a Shadow Trooper, like the Black Trooper. Uh, he's, I think, eleven or twelve hundred bucks. Uh, you've got that uh, holographic uh, Darth Maul. He's. At one point, I know he's like twenty five hundred bucks. At one point, I don't know what he is now. Uh, then you got the holographic Darth Vader, which was up there for a while. I think the probably the hardest one and one that I probably will never get because of the price is probably that holographic Darth Maul. That one's that is that the one that's like six grand. I would have to look. I haven't looked at it in a while. Um, Every time I look at at the price on it, I want to cry. And I, because it, it's like it's like any collectibles. It's you have to the price on eBay isn't necessarily what the price is. Um, if the thing's worth a hundred dollars and everybody on eBay selling it for five hundred dollars, and I have one to sell, 
I'm put on eBay for five hundred dollars. Also, why am I going to sell it for a hundred dollars when everybody else is on there is for five? I, I can get five for it. Or you know, if I really need the cash fast, drop it on there for three. Um, so um, you know, it, it's all it's all relative. Like we have, I know um, I use a a guide from Funko um, to get my an app from Funko to get my price on uh, um, what they are, but they're not always right. And I don't know how they figure out the prices a lot of times. Um, but okay. So, um, cause some of them just aren't right. You know, like you can go on Amazon and find it on Amazon for regular retail price. And they'll say it's $25 is the, the sale price, the, the going price of it. So, um, yeah. All right. Um, that one I'm going to wait a little while for, I think. Um, okay. So on the new Mandalorian line that came out, um, I was able to pick up this guy right here. Q90. Um, which is also good because now we have an updated back of the pops that are out. It's not focusing. Woo. All right. Well, anyway, so you had the four that I've already showed you. Um, the IG-11, Cara Dune, the Mandalorian, um, and Gary Busey Kill. Um, Cull, whatever his name is. So the next one you have the client. Grief Karga, Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, Q9-0, um, Incinerator Stormtrooper, Offworld Jawa, Covert Mandalorian, and the Armorer. Um, now, with the ones that aren't listed on here because they're variants or exclusive, um, you have the Mandalorian holding a fireball. Or something like that. Um, that's a Target exclusive. That's not out for sale yet. Um, you have a Trandosian, I think it is. That's a Walmart. Ex no, not a Walmart. That's a Walgreens exclusive. Walgreens, yeah. Um, exclusive. You have the one that GameStop decided to bend me over for, for whatever reason, because they think I'm cute. Or it was a power move. I'm not really sure. Um, that is the Death Trooper. Um, you know, it's like the one I really wanted to get from you because I can't get anywhere else is the one you fucked me over on. Um, and then the fourth one is the Mandalorian. Chrome. Chrome. Um, yeah, from Amazon, um, which I have back ordered. So um, if anyone sees any of those um, variations, let me know. It's the... Um, Death, Death Watch Mandalorian. Um, he's blue and he's got little blue things on his uh, knee pads. Um, that's the one right there. Um, we don't like Kylo anymore over there. Um, it's my buddy. It with Mr. Rez. You don't like right. Mr. Rez either. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, Mr. Rez. Well, I, when, I, when I was renamed, when it was just going from, it went from 2Med2 two to the 2Med2 two two channel to the We Hate Mr. Rez podcast, Star Wars, YouTube, Network, Foundling um, channel for a while. Um, but yeah, so what, what were the other two? Um, yeah, anyways, yeah, so the, the Trandosian um, one, the... Um, oh, shit, well, I the, got this Hold on, I got to show you this one. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Uh, yeah, whatever. So if you see any of like the exclusives, let me know because I'm just trying to find them and I don't want to pay, um, you know, top dollar for them. Um, this is Grief Karga, aka Apollo Creed. Um, I don't know what's going on in the chat. You guys want? I'm trying to follow the chat the best I can. Yeah, I well, you know, I already apologized to people that I don't follow the chat well. So um, let's see. Then we got this bag over here. Um, 
Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. Um, Mandalorian on, on the blurg. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, yeah, so um, I got the heavy infantry, like- heavy armor yeah. Mandalorian. Um, this guy, I'm trying to get... There you go. That's oh. about. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get it without a glare off of a, off of a camera like that. Well, see, I could. I have lights too. Um, that I could pull my lights out. I probably should have pulled the light out and had it facing that way, so light bounces off and doesn't have it, so you don't get the glare. Um, but yeah, so there's there's that guy there. Um. You know, there, there's really not much for the detail. You can get the you can get the gun in there. Um, you know, that's oh, that's pretty good right there, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's that's a cool dude right there. Um, back to here. Um, we got the client. No, I don't have cli- well. I'm a fucking idiot, and like the the GameStop I went to, that I go to that I order them from, they don't put any of their stuff out. Um, like if they get an extra one or somebody doesn't pick them up or whatever, they keep it in the back, so you have to ask for it. You can't just go in and look at it and say, "Hey, I want that." To try and you know be f- more fair to collectors or somebody that's actually looking for stuff, um, you know, not just buy it because then it looks cool, I guess. Um, but um, yeah, so. I, uh, but when I went to the other store that I got, so they didn't have it. So I, st- I told you guys, I stopped at the other store. Um, they had a client and I didn't get the client cause I already had it. I just got something else from star Wars. Cause I was like, Oh, um, that's cool. But if I was thinking about it, I would have gotten the ones that just came out because those are the ones that people are looking for. Um, but I got the covert Mandalorian. I ain't got uh, that one either. I saw the pretty- one and I was in a hurry because I had to go pick my daughter up from school and I left the store and then I didn't get it. But I think I'm going to order it online, though. I think uh, I want to order it from Hot Topic with their hot cash, I think. Um, and then let's see what else we got in here. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So then, um, what do we got for this one? Okay. So that's where I fucked up. This is like wave two, what I was talking about, the dark side Ray. Yeah. Um, and I picked this up as an extra for someone, but it wasn't in the original case that I ordered because this they were added on. Right. So the case they'd ordered, this, so this came later. So I, did, I picked this up to give to someone, and I told someone, I said, hey, I think I have something for you. Um, I just got to double check, but now they're not going to get it. So, um, But the other one, the C-3PO with the red eyes, I need that. And I had it in my hand and I was going to get it. And I said, no, I'll re- I'd rather get this one over here because I think it looks cooler and now I need it. So now I got to go back to that store and buy it on Tuesday if they still have it. Um, I know Kylo's got it. He's going to show us, but yep, I need that one. Um, yeah, there's better. So if you're out, if you're out and you see that one, let me know. Okay. Um, Cause I'm not going to make it back over to that store until um, Tuesday if they have it, which, you know, I'm going to guess they will, but who, you know, who knows, who knows, Anthony, who knows? Um, yeah. I was just, I was getting it for an extra. Um, and I was like, who, you know, I think people would rather have that. I was guessing what people would rather have now. Um, Night of Ren. Long Axe. This is a duplicate. Um, the Chrome one. Okay. Um, and I got 
a Janna. Um, this is a duplicate. Um, just once again, I had to pick which one I wanted to get as an extra. Um, and I got this guy just because I had a free one coming. Um, and they didn't have any more Star Wars shit. And because I don't know prices and I didn't have time, I was already running late for work. So I didn't have time to sit there and scroll through and see, you know, what was my best option while I was looking at them. Um, you know, value wise for the prices they were going at was this guy right here, the Batman. Um, they came out with a bunch of Batman ones um, for an 80th, um, 80th anniversary. So I picked this up just figuring that. It looks kind of cool. I don't, don't know the story behind this vampire Batman or w whatever he is. Um, but that's one that will probably go into the um, sell, um, you know, trade, giveaway gift. And because this is my show and I can't be outdone by Mr. Kylo Customs. I got this bad boy too. <laughs> I like him. He's awesome. <clears throat> so we'll see what kind of how close we okay. We gotta do different um you know. I almost wanna take mine out, but it looks like it'd be difficult to get get out right now. So maybe tomorrow I might already have him out of the box and I can Well, I mean these these guys will go down in price. Um I'd think it's not a specialty one. It's not an exclusive right now. I'm sure. I think I paid 25 bucks for it or whatever the price of it yeah, was. Um, if, I'm sure if you look, if you look right now, it's $25 or whatever it is. Um, you know, I might actually try and return this one or return one of those guys back to that GameStop if they'll let me. Um, and get that C-3PO. But yeah, anyways, still look for it if you can, because um, I don't know if they'll still be there. Um, I told you I went, I went and I did did a, some swapping of some like multiples I, I had, and I know this one isn't Star Wars, but I wanted to see this one. This one is super cool. It's the uh, Dark Phoenix from the X-Men. Okay. Throwing a Dark Limited Edition Chase figure. So I got, picked her up, uh, what day? That was Friday. I ended up getting her. I got um, one of the icons, the icon, uh, the the Captain Cupcake from the Hostess Cupcakes. Yeah, show us what you got. What? Well, I, I grabbed that one. Um, but then I have a couple of them upstairs. It was like a, a metallic oh, okay. Pennywise from it, and I'll grab that other one real quick though. The King Ding Dong is pretty cool looking. Um, yeah, so I'm just going back through, um, I'm just going back over here, uh, through the, the chat really quick. Um, let's see if we got anything popping up. Oh yeah. The, uh, the hologram Darth Maul is $2,600 right now. But I'm pretty sure there's a couple that are more expensive. Um, I also don't know, um, Nick, if you're still here, what the um, – they came out with, like, director's ones or – I know that they just came out with, even though he's not a director, um, but I was going for along those lines, um, a Mark Hamill one. Now, they have the Mark Hamill one in the, in the sweater, which is just regular. It's not – Price wise, I think it's pretty much normal. But you have the one that just came out uh, was a small con exclusive, and there were only 500, 1500, 2500 um, made of them. And I know when they first came out, there was a lot of giveaways for it or, or ways to try and get it. 
But I really didn't see much going on in the secondary market for it. Um, you know, so that that's one of those small batch ones that I, I'm sure will probably be up there in money because if you're a Star Wars fan, you want it. If you're a, a Mark Hamill fan, which means chances are you're a Star Wars fan too. Um, you know, you'll like it. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, this was uh, one of the other ones they picked up. The uh, Captain Cupcake from the Hostess Cupcakes from the Ad Icons line. I really like the Ad Icon line, so I, I do collect those two just because they've got like Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Tuna, Star Kiss. They got the, um, the Jolly Green Giant and the Sprout. They've got uh, the Energizer Bunny, Chester Cheetah, uh, just, I mean, the Domino's Noid, I have that one. He's pretty cool. Like I like the Ad Icon ones, too, along with, with my Star Wars and Marvel. Those are pretty much cool. Oh, yeah. Dale stopped away for a minute. Um, this is the Blurg one, um, the Mando on the Blurg. Um, so, you know, like I... My, my intent was, like, when I went, some of these I put on hold or I put deposits on before we even knew the name of it um, or knew what they were. So it's like, I just put them because I figured if I don't like them, I can give them away or do something. But honestly, out of this whole line with the card, with, with every single one of them on there, the only one I'd probably not really want to keep and give away is the, the Q90. Um, but yeah. Uh, so here's Dale again. Um, and then, oh, you know what? Kyle, keep them, uh, keep them company for a second. Cause I'm, I forgot to, uh, I am missing something on the back of these guys. Um, I remember these are all, um, I'll show them a couple of the ones that I got that you didn't show yet. Yeah. You show them yours. Yeah. Cause I don't think um, I might have walked away, but I don't know if you've nope. the incinerator. Nope, I don't have that. That one's that's one of the ones that GameStop is telling me doesn't come out for another month. Um, but I have it ordered. I have it ordered and deposit put on it. Um, GameStop says it doesn't come out for another month, and Amazon doesn't have it on coming out until the seventeenth. Um. But yeah, so I don't know. I want to see what else you got that I, I didn't show. Oh yeah, Offworld Jawa. GameStop once again told me that it is not out yet. It doesn't come out until um, next month, and they're the same thing on Amazon until the seventeenth. Well, yeah, Amazon's the seventeenth because I have my. What I do is I set up backup pre-orders just in case I can't get them in store ahead of time and then I just get them through Amazon when they release. So, I mean, I still have, um, the client, the, um, the, 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 the Coven, uh, Mandalorian and what was the other one? Let me look and see. There was still three. Oh, and the armor are still sitting on Amazon pre-order. That yeah, they come out the middle of next month if I don't track them down with like hot cash through hot topic within after I get paid this week. Pick up those three figures for like twenty two bucks. If I don't find them there or on their website, then I'll just wait for Amazon to to kick out the pre orders and I'll be fine. With Um, and then let's see. Then I actually tracked this guy down because I do like these. I found the animated Boba Fett, the uh, Pez dispenser, which is pretty cool. Oh, shit. And then since you pop back in real quick, since I won't be outdone and matched up with the, with your uh, word, I got this big bad boy. Oh, okay. Glow in the dark, uh, ten inch supreme leader. What's cool about him is the 
his lightsaber glows in the dark, and the um, the welded cracks in his helmet glow for that figure, which is pretty awesome. Okay, that's pretty much. Yeah, I didn't acquire anything else except for the two that are all the way upstairs, but this week. But yeah, these are, I went to go grab, I went to actually go grab this one. Um, Rose. Rose came separately because they didn't have her at the time um, for uh, GameStop when I ordered them. Um, so she was actually, I think she was open on one of my regular shows. My regular live chats, but um, Jacqueline Rogers, welcome. It's great to have you here. Um, I think I saw Alice from Force Toast. She's here. She wants to learn more about Funkos. No, you don't. Funkos are the devil. Um, and just why I'm here with this. Oh, wait. You know, see, this is where the shit gets confusing because. All right. So. I have, from that case that I opened, I have the Kylo Ren Supreme Leader. But then I also have the Kylo Ren Supreme Leader that came in the Smuggler's Bounty Box. Um, along with this other um, Knight of Ren Long Axe that came in the Smuggler's Bounty Box. Hey, and, uh, Rancor... Rancor review. I saw your question. Hold on, I'll go grab it so I can show you. I gotta show him the Rancor. So the answer to your question is yes, and he's gonna show you it. Um, but in the words of Luke Skywalker, this isn't gonna go the way that you think. Um, but just with other pops too, um, we gotta, I gotta look into these because a lot of times, you know, they have them listed on the back. Um, I got this guy right here. Um, the Knights of Ren, um, the Sith, C Sith, um, He's a heavy son of a bitch, but here's the back. Alright, so there's the back, but let me I'm trying to figure out where this is. You see him well? Oh, uh, you gotta tilt it a little bit more for an angle. There's a glare. I'm trying to relate to where I'm at. Oh wait, that's weak. There he is. Kind of hard doing it from from this angle because I'm trying to. It's damn glares. It's, well, I mean, this one glares a little bit more because I have it in one of those uh, protectors, so which makes I mean it's an extra layer of that that slightly thicker protective plastic on it, so it does give it. But this one, it's got. Um, the Rancor, then you have uh, Jedi Luke where he's holding the bone ring stuck in, in his mouth in that scene, and then you have Slave Ula. So it was like a three-pack. Um, I lucked out and I got it for a decent price, but I know this one might be slightly on the expensive end now. Yeah, depending on where depending on where you look, because I was looking at that one um, a while ago. Depending on where you look, it's... It, it, it can be, you know, almost double and double what other people want for it. Um, you know, the thing is, too, when you when you get stuff off of Amazon, it's sold by secondary markets, and some people just jack up and put whatever the hell they want on it. You know, you, you could sell something for twenty dollars normally, but you put it for one hundred fifty on Amazon, just hoping that more people are going to see it. Somebody's going to buy it. Um, but yeah, that was the other question I was going to ask you while you were gone, really quick. So I opened up a couple other guys, and uh -huh. I have this night of Ren. Okay. I have this Knight of Ren right here. Oh, cool. Um, you got him, huh? But. Yeah, I like him. I, I was excited to get him because sometimes at Funko Shop, 
when they actually drop them uh, at like one o'clock on like whatever weekday they decide to do it, some things are super, super, super hard to get. And I was excited when it actually said confirm my order because that's one I didn't want to have to miss out on. With the other ones, if I miss out on them and I wanted them, it's like, eh, I can always just swap and trade for them later on down the road. But Star Wars ones, I don't want to miss them when they drop on that shop. Yeah, well, that, that's where I um, I was just happened to be home a bunch of days in a row. And I was like, okay, I'll get it. Um, you know, so I don't even know what the price is for it now. I think I, I, it might have been 40, almost 40 bucks. Um I mean, that's not that, uh, you know, it's on the shop for $9 or $10 or whatever it is. Um, and once again, because, um, you know, now if you start going into your collection, there's many things because I don't collect Funko Pops. So there's many that you have that you could outdo me on. But I also got this bad boy. Ah. So I was actually, I was walking out of the store and I saw it. They had like six of them. Um all lined up across and I was like, wait, like you didn't even tell me that you have these. Um, like you see me here buying all this shit. Like you wouldn't even like, it, they didn't even, you know, I mean, it's not their fault or them to tell me what to get, but yeah. So I was like, all right. Cause I wasn't even expecting that one. Um, so you'll have to check out the glow on that bad boy. Cause it is pretty, it's a decent glow on them. Um, and then let's see here. We got this guy, too. I know um, I've been talking about this in the chat somewhat. Um, I haven't got to this. Um, oh, hang on. Boo-boo, someone says say hi to you. This is a little puppy. Somebody said show us the puppy. So you're more important than the Funkos. I don't know. I might trade you for that that Darth Darth Maul Funko, though, the hologram one. No, I went to that too. That's my little baby. It's my little baby puppy. Um. Oh, Anthony, what did you say? What's in the box? Well, um, this is not a new one today that you've seen me open this one before. You've actually seen me open up a couple of this ones. Um, because when I was going to order them, the only one I liked that looked good was this one, the Darth Vader one. Um, all the rest of them kind of looked like crap. And then when I got it, I said, Hmm, it looks a lot better than I thought it did. So I'll get the Yoda one. That yeah, way you have, you know, you have, um, and of course, well, I shouldn't say, of course, I don't know if you guys know who my favorite Star Wars character is. Is it who I'm Chewbacca. thinking? Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Uh, the Jango Fett one's really cool, too. Um, if you got him. Well, Darth Maul. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, which this was one of the ones I really wanted, but when you look at it on the computer, and like, I don't get it because the face just looks like a plain. It's just look a, a plain face that they put painted gold on but i don't know if you can see there's actually a lot of detail in the face um if you can see that that one you kind of can well, there's a little glare but um that guy and then the Django fat which think... now i am going to You broke up there for a second, buddy. So now that I got this one, I'm going to have to find the Django Fett, um, the real one, because it's the exact same thing as this, I think. Oh, no, I don't know if it is. Because I think the, 
the real one, he's it looks like he's shooting uh, fire out of his butt. Um, his jetpack. Yeah. Um, but it looks like it's. I mean, I'm looking to see if I have the original at hand. What What's the number on him? I can't see it over there. Two eighty five. Five. Let me let me uh, uh, is he accessible? Yeah, he's accessible. I'll grab him so you can look at the original one. Um, I just, I've seen it. The price fluctuation and the price varies so much. Um, that you know, I'm trying to you know what the good price is, but. Yeah, he's originally is a Walgreens exclusive. The original oh, and the original one was a Walgreens exclusive, the non gold. Yeah. It's got the fire out of his jetpack. Is it the same? Shaw, let me see the the actual figure. Um turn to the side, the this or other other way. Yeah. No, no, face no facing me. I want to see the, the side side view. All right, one more, one more. Okay, there. Yeah, that one uh, yeah, that's the one that Okay. I think he's turned a little bit differently too than it is. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, that that's one of the ones I have on my list of ones to pick up, but um, I'm waiting for just to find it cheaper than I've I've been seeing it. Um, I don't even remember what I've been seeing it for, but it's one of those things that I've learned. You find something on Amazon, and unless even if it's on Amazon, you still got to look at eBay for it. Because, you know, like I was saying, somebody jacks up the price and puts it on Amazon, knowing that they're going to get volume, that they're going to probably sell it. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, um, Jacqueline, this is Delilah. Her name is actually Dalila because when I got her, I had two other dogs. And my um, fiance at the time brought her home. And I was like, nope. But she was four weeks old and literally fit in the palm of my hand. Like her body fit in the palm of my hand and her legs fell over. And she was going to be, um, it's a long story, but yeah, it was, uh, if we didn't keep her, she was going to be going to be put down. And I held on to her for like two minutes and I was like, okay, we're keeping her. Um, but I got, the stipulation was that I got to name her. And, at the time, I was living down south, and I um, was watching a lot of NASCAR and, and Dukes of Hazards. So she was named Dale after Dale Earnhardt Jr. because he's my race car driver, um, and I had to make it a girl's name, so I turned it into Lila Delilah. Um, her name's Delilah Duke after Daisy Duke. So. Um, those were the two things that were going on, um, you know, in my life at the time. I could have done it, tried to figure out a Star Wars name, but nothing would have, you know, it, it was more of kind of a fuck you two thing um, about the name. But so that pretty much does it for all of the pops that I have um, that are new. Um Just really quick, I'll show you guys these ones for um, those of you that haven't watched or haven't been there for the um, the live chat. Um, at, at the no, nine times out of ten, it's at the end of the, the live chat. Well, come on, Bubba, let me sit down too. At the end of the live chat, I open up some merch. Um, and I have a Purge Trooper 
and there was something else here. Oh yeah. Kylo Ren, which is, um, this is an extra one that I have. So that goes, um, that the other one came in with the, um, the case that I got that's been sitting around. Um, but I don't know what I did with the, I wanted to compare, um, the Kylo Ren that I got, got um, the Kylo Ren that I got. All right. And the, I have so many pops laying around here. I can't even find them to put them back in their boxes so that they're safe. Why, I, why I'm moving them. Um, that's Ray. Okay. So this is 324 and 308. Um, one is the, okay, this is the Kylo Ren Supreme Leader. This is 308. This is Kylo Ren Supreme Leader 324. Um, the 324 is the one that came in the um, Smuggler's Bounty Box. And I think, okay, the regular one, um, it's, I don't know if you can see it, um, his helmet is fixed. Um, you can see on the box itself the helmet is fixed with the, the red. Um, And then um, this one, the exclusive, there is no um, fixed helmet. Um, I think that hood over it, doesn't he? Does it look like he's... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. He's got a, a hood over it, so... Um, from when he's um, fighting Ray, when he's yeah, um, okay, okay. So that's what the difference is in it. Differences in it. Um, but like so, um, then these are just really quick. Um, these are all Chrome versions, so I don't have the regular version. Well, I guess I have two of the. Um, or I have, well, I have, so I have an extra one of these guys too, um, that I need to figure out something to do. Um, this is the Chrome version of the Knight of Ren with the long ax. I don't know if you can see it. No. Well, that's what it is. Um, and then this is the one that was an exclusive. Okay. Uh, but this is just the Chrome one. Um, I already, I show these before i'm just showing them since we're here and i'm unpacking everything to um this is the one the knight of ren with the blaster rifle this one the regular one um i think is a gamestop exclusive and that's one of the ones that gamestop sold on me and can't reorder um and then the knight of ren with the heavy blade you might have to change the story you put your pre-orders in with I mean, they had been good, but I think it's just the problem is the people they have working there. Um, but That's how I paid stores. Well, I did because the other one was bad, and now the other one, you know, it's they just have such high turnover there that it could be good for a while. But this is with the um, what's this one with the War Club, and then this is with the Arm Cannon. Um, yeah, so I don't. And then I'm not sure what the difference is between the blast rifle and the arm cannon, but yeah, I think a lot of these, um, they're like the regular ones that I just showed you, like the one was a Funko store exclusive. Um, the, they're, they're all, um, I think the regular ones were exclusives to other stores, whether they were Walmart target. Um, I could be wrong on that. My, the collector Kylo might know. Um, is that correct? Like the regular versions, uh, let's those see. were mostly mostly exclusives. Yeah, uh, uh, GameStop, Walmart, Hot Topic, 
Funko Shop. I think the other two are just common ones. Common, okay. Um, and then... Kylo Ren with the lights and sound. Um, and I have that one. Mark Hamill is the Joker. Um, when I'm doing that light and sound one, I have the Darth Vader light and sound one also that I just got recently. And this one I got from a secret Santa. That one's cool. The Chrome Death Sister. Mm-hmm. I got this yeah, guy. Yeah. Um, I did this guy myself. This is Mark Hamill as the Joker. Or the voice of the Joker. Oh, you did that yourself? Yeah. It's because I love Mark Hamill and that's like, and I loved him as the Joker and they didn't have one. So I was just like, here, let me make me a, uh, the ultimate Joker figure in my opinion. Cause it's, a, it's an unmasked Joker in my is what I call him, the unmasked Joker. And then here's one of the other ones I picked up when I was out. I he was a lot closer than I thought he was. It's the um, it's the Pennywise from the It, and he's metallic from the Hot Topic uh, exclusive. So that's when I went and did my trade, and that's another one I picked up. <clears throat> yeah. So the uh, so for the Mandalorian. Um, I got this one too. It's a two pack that came. So the only difference for it is IG 11. Um, I think the placement for his eyes are different. And, um, the Mandalorian, there's something different with the color of his gun. I put it over here so I could show you guys and. All right, let's see. Just for you guys, we'll do some unboxing, some real unboxing here. So this one here, Mike, this one here probably yep. very hard to find. This is the original Django Fett. He came with a, I want to say, a PSP or a Nintendo DS. Um, one of those Star Wars games, like on a DS or something. He came in like, like the package with, with the game. Didn't have the original box. But I had a box made for him because he was just a figure in there and he, Unless you find that game package, he's very hard to find too. I don't know if they have uh I don't know what his price on him is now, but I just turned around and I just made my own box for him. Since the original Django Fett doesn't have a box. So that's something that's or one of my favorite ones I have in my collection because I had to do the artwork and all of that for to make the box for him to actually sit in to keep him protected. Okay. All right. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see here, but um, this Mandalorian or this IG-11, he's got, can you see it? it's red mm-hmm. for, um, And this one, there's no color. 
So that's the only variation on that. Um, and then I think I have one out of the box somewhere here that I got. Yeah. Um, oh, no, that's the exclusive. I wanted the regular one. But I don't know where it is. Yeah, I don't know what I did with that. And I have, I don't know if you've been watching or not, but I have a bunch of boxes here and I put them all back in the boxes. So um, I don't know. I look, I, when I opened it up the other day, I looked at it, but I forget. Um, it's something really subtle, like the, um, the Mando, his, his cape is a different, uh, is slightly different. I think there's like a slight paint variation for his cape, I believe. Yeah, like even, even like on the box here where it shows you what you're getting, um, it's not what's in here. So like for on, on the box here, it shows you with the red eyes. On here, it doesn't have the red eyes. Um, so I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't. I don't feel like going through those all those boxes that I reboxed and um, did it. But I guess when I take them out of the boxes, well, take them out of the the protective cases, I should say, because um, they won't come until these will all get on. That's why I don't care about doing this. These will all get unboxed at some point in time, or most of them will. Um, once I have some place to put them, you know, permanently, um, you know, whether that be, you know, whenever that is. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, this guy, is in the back of the IG-11, um, which I never noticed before. It's like their little um, calling card thing, so it's not just... In the back of the box, um, they have things so that it's not just a brown box behind it, which I guess would make sense. Um, but yeah. So. Look, I didn't even I didn't even look at the at that too deeply into those yet. Yeah, it's the same one that's behind the the, uh, the Jawa too. That's the main Mandalorian logo behind him. But there's still a bunch more Mandalorian ones coming out. Um, I believe. Um, more so than these ones. Um, I saw they were trying to figure out somebody, one of, one of the, um, Funko pop sites, um, or pages or whatever, Twitter accounts had them on and, um, or, or lists of what they were. Um, and you know, they, they have a lot of code names and stuff like that. Some of them are already broken or out. Um, some of them are, yeah, whatever, but there are some that don't match up with what names they have, but it's like, I still have coming. I still have, um, the armor is ordered. I'm waiting for it to come in. Off-world Java is ordered. I'm waiting for it to come in. Um, the incinerator. Um, the Mandalorian final. I have ordered and wait for that to come in. I think that is the Mandalorian and Mandalorian armor. So it's a, it's the same thing except his armor is all Mandalorian or all Beskar. Um, I think that's, I think that's what they mean when they say final. Um, and then I just have those variants that I need to um, check out or get to um, 
And then, all right, go back here. Um, let's see. I'm going to guess we had a troll in here um, for a few minutes because they got a bunch of messages deleted. Um, looking this, I'm looking through the chat. Dale Earnhardt, number three. Dale Earnhardt, number three. That was, you know, that was one of the things. Um, that's why I like Junior because when I was a kid growing up, my dad would watch NASCAR and I thought it was the stupidest thing in the world and the most boring because they just sat there and drove around in circles. And why do I want to watch that? And blah, blah, blah. Um, and it wasn't until I started playing a video game um, where they, I actually learned about, you know, the differences and changing, um, you know, tire pressure and doing this and that and, putting wedge in here and taking stuff out there and everything that I actually learned like, Holy shit, this is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I, um, Dale senior was my favorite. And then, you know, even, um, I mean, well, he died pretty much when his son came on the scene, but, um, you know, junior was, became my favorite because of his father. Um, yeah, Anthony, I opened up a box. Um, on here so um you know milestones are being set all over the place uh, we got a few new people that joined the chat we got some more people you know in the chat yeah yeah and we got the what, what were we talking last night we we're looking for 10 people in the chat i think we maxed out close to 15 at one point at least when i looked down and then we've got over 10 likes so far so, I mean, it's yeah. a successful uh, stream to just chat about some vinyl toys and plastic and cardboard boxes. Yep. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. And it will give me, uh, you know, I got to figure out now what I want to do. If I want to um, start working on putting the bookcases together now or, you know, combining them. And then the one bookcase is going to be books. And the other bookcase is going to be Funkos and black series um but yeah i still have some black series to open up on um the chat um tomorrow night okay um where i usually usually do my um normal um thing um but when i was just looking for some of these other ones that i need to put away or do something with um yeah so um yeah i gotta figure out if i want to work on that or if i want to um, live stream some Fallen Order later on because I haven't done that and I want you know I want to try and get into doing working on the game. Um, but we'll see. No, Anthony, there was someone on here I didn't recognize their name, and there was like five or six comments of from them in a row, and they were all deleted. Yeah, they retracted their comments. I just saw that too. So I, was, I wasn't sure if that was someone deleting them or, or them um, doing that. But you know, they're um, whatever. So you know. Um, no big deal. Yeah. So let's see. Anything else uh, we need to talk about right now? I mean, this is this was just kind of a impromptu. Um, No, I, I I had a lot of fun doing a little uh, little collection uh, chit chat talk. I I mean I enjoyed doing it. You know, showing off some of the few new toys that that I got that I don't play with that just sit on a shelf and look nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, I'll pick up a couple more this week out of this Mandalorian set, and I can. Do uh do one next weekend or whatever. Yeah, you know I gotta figure out. Um, it ain't gotta be Funko. I have a ton of Hot Wheels that I wouldn't mind showing off. I know Rural Farm Boy he said something about that, or uh, you know some Legos and. Charlie caught the Legos and stuff when I was going through on that on a quick run through them one night on on your channel. So maybe we can have maybe I can have like a 
a small part and you're like, hey, here's the Hot Wheels because I n- didn't even show off my character cars. I have those lined up along the, um, like the venting down here. It's boxed in so you can't see like the vent pipes running. So on the sides, I have like the character, you know, like a, like a Darth Maul um, Hot Wheel car. You, I'm sure you've seen those. Yeah. Kind of. Like these guys here. Well, this one was easy to grab because I have a couple of these. Like this one, I'm talking about like the character cars. Like they're like yeah, they look cool. I uh, I saw a Chewbacca one the other day um, when I was at Barnes and Nobles looking for this stuff, and I I just I like Chewbacca. I just didn't like the look of it was like a a minivan that got eaten by Chewbacca kind of thing and i was like yeah that doesn't really look good i don't really like that one so you know i do actually have some self-restraint um and didn't buy it um which is kind of strange but yeah so i mean we're gonna i'm gonna do the uh the normal chat on um you know monday this wasn't taking the place of it this was just i was thinking of the bags and the boxes i had walking and the stuff i just picked up and i was like i need to do something with this because i'm gonna get in trouble if i don't um like I'm probably going to just repack all this stuff up um, and I got to move books before I can do anything with this. So I'm probably going to pack a lot of this stuff back up and um, maybe deal with that later or tomorrow. And while I'm watching the Clone Wars do some, um, book organizing or trying to do it because I also need to um, figure out, do kind of an outline in my head of what I have. Cause I have a couple books that are really long compared to the other books. Um, like when you look at the, like the Atlas or something like that, they're probably three or four inches bigger. So I need to set my bookshelf, um, you know, at least one of them that much bigger than figure out what I'm going to put where and, um, you know, try and do a little organization in my head. Um, yeah, so I can lay everything out on the bed. So that's what, I think that's what my night has in store for me is a little bit of that. So depending on how long it takes, it's still kind of early. So depending on how long it takes me to do that, um, I'll probably do a little fallen order live stream. Um, but while I'm watching, I'm doing my clone wars rewatch and chronological order. Um, I started yesterday, but only I can do that while I'm doing um, the bookshelf. I I watched two episodes and I'm just about finished with the movie. Um, but you know I still have 120 some episodes to go, so get that done before it starts back up. And you know, when we'll see where. Up, I don't remember. What's that? When does the when does the Clone Wars start back up? It's supposed to be the seventeenth, um, which is a Monday. It's the Monday after my birthday, so that's what Lucasfilm gave me for my present is starting um, them back up right after me. But now it's coming out that it's, it's been moved up to the seventh, which I don't even know what day that is. But I haven't heard anything confirmed or from Lucasfilm. It's just all. Um, what's going on around Twitter now that it's coming out the seventh. So it could have been somebody wrote an article and missed a zero, uh, missed a one in, in it. So now it's the seventh instead of the 17th. And of course you see something on Twitter and everyone just runs with it without actually looking into it and trying to figure out what's going on. You know, that's why the Kenobi series is canceled now. Um, but completely un Star Wars related. So whenever my girlfriend comes home from work nine times out of 10, if not more, I'm still awake. Um, and she tries to find something to watch on TV while she falls asleep. And it's usually, I don't care. It's usually something. Okay. Every once in a while she finds stupid shows, but she was trying to find something yesterday. And she's like, I can't find anything. And I said, what about the way she's ever going to say, everything in my life ties into Star Wars no matter what it is um, but yeah so I have 
11 seasons of cheers for her to watch now um, falling to bed. So that's usually one or two episodes um, before she falls asleep. And then usually what happens is I finish watching the episode or it's on Netflix. So I'll just keep playing it. So I'm sitting there watching and um, you know, it's an episode or two goes by until I realize that she's falling asleep. And then the next day I have to watch the same episode, but this is sheer. So it won't be too bad. Um, but you know, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, anything else? No, not nothing I can think of for tonight. I mean, I kind of was going to do some straightening back up with the stuff that I pulled out to show everybody. And then uh, probably I was going to go play some um, Fallen Order now that you brought it up. So I'm pretty sure Nick, he's probably, he might be, I think Nick might have left the stream. He was talking about he was going to be in, and then he's going to go watch the uh, Niners Packers game. So. He might have already left, but I know I was probably going to play some uh, Fallen Order later with, you know, with or chatting with him. So I don't know. Or I play right. some. I've been thinking about playing Lego Star Wars too, uh, doing a play on that, which I might just do that because that that that's looking to be a little bit uh, less. Uh, there's so many people doing Fallen Order right now that I might just switch it up and play something else Star Wars related. You know, we- well, it's funny. I was watching um, when I was going to pick up the stuff yesterday. Yoda Bauer came on and she was playing Fallen Order. And I was like, well, I'm just going to stop and say hi. And then I stopped to say hi. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go now because you're way past where I am. She's like, oh, you know, I've, I've only been playing a little bit. And she's the same place I am, just a little bit further. Um, Cause she went to Kashyyyk, not Kashyyyk. She went to Dathomir, um, instead of going the other way, um, first where I went, didn't go to Dathomir cause I was told how difficult it was, um, to fight or on beating or, or whatever. Um, when you, when you choose that one first, instead of get building more points up. Um, uh, so yeah. I watched her play for a couple minutes, but I got my ass kicked in Dathomir cause I went that way first when I, played through first like yeah i ain't doing that this time around it was brutal you know because you can't half the stuff because you don't have half the skills that that you need and like the 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 knight brothers were just too much yeah well that's you know there's not a lot for um i already know what's going to happen i already know how it ends um you know it's it's like i told her i want to be able to play and when I can't figure something out then, or I get sick of running around in circles for so long, um, you know, that I can say, all right, guys, where, where do I go now? What do I do now? Um, you know, I played for 45 minutes. I kept getting killed. Um, you, you weren't on Nick. I think Nick was on, um, Nick and another one of your friends were on. I forget who, um, they were, they were the only two watching me. Um, and I just kept going. I just kept getting killed. I just kept getting killed. I kept getting killed. And, it was, um, I don't remember what the animals are called. Um, they, they look like wolves and they jump out of the ground. And then I had, then, um, they had, mi- uh, troop missile launcher troopers. Um, they kept hitting me with the missiles and blowing me up. Um, and then there was some big horned, um, horse thing, whatever that was coming in and attacking me. And I couldn't get my timing down. And it was right after I was doing the force slowdown. Um, so I didn't have enough force energy left a lot of times if I kept mess- messing that up going through the wheels. Um, so that when I wanted to go force stop him, um, he'd just run right into me and kill me. And I didn't have the door unlocked yet. So I had to go all the around the way around the long way. Um, you know, so it's just one of those things that, you know, it takes me a long time to get something done. Then once I get it done, it doesn't take me long at all until I get to the next big thing. But right. um, yeah, for, for those of you that are on here, um, you know, me playing, when I play fall in order, it's, it's just a bunch of watching me do shit over and over again until I figure out how to do it or someone tell me what to do, but it's, it's just chatting. Um, you know, I don't do it where a lot of people do it. Like, Hey, watch me play the game and how good I am. Um, that was my idea when I started and I suck so bad at the game. 
and I didn't want to just do the movie version or the playthrough like a lot of people did to get the views and stuff like that, which I probably should have done. Um, but I just wanted to play the game and have fun playing the game. And, you know, this is more, f I think I'm enjoying it more, even though it's really frustrating um, playing the game than doing the run through and then playing the games to get the views and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's a very very fun game, and when you're doing it like on YouTube is is like a playthrough or or a playthrough live. What I found recently is doing those is I enjoy the game more because I can see on the side of on the side of my screen like the comments that are getting left, and I can interact and and uh, and communicate with whoever's watching. Like sometimes you know. Um, like you don't watch because you don't want to get the game spoiled or, you know, or, or, you know, or w what's going on with, with the game. But like, you know, from, like, like when Nick jumps in, we sit there and we have like conversations about, like Star Wars and, and like, and like Funko and, you know, like, I don't know, just your basic shit in life. You know, we're just, so I'm not sitting in my house playing this game by myself. I enjoy the fact of doing it. Yeah to where I can interact with, you know, a couple different people and talk with them rather than sitting there in the quiet or with mm -hmm. them right on with playing the game. That's how I like doing yeah. these live streams well, for games. Well, that was, that was my intent yesterday when I was going to pick up these Funkos. Um, my intent was to do a, a big marathon um, or break it up into a couple of chunks of live stream and fall in order. Um, because I was only picking up a couple Funkos, um, which turned into, you know, a ton. Um, then when I had all those Funkos, that's when I decided, well, maybe I'll, you know, do something with these Funkos. And then if I have time, I can do some Fallen Order. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to, uh, cut this, um, short. Or not short, but you know, finish it off. It's almost uh, going on two hours, it's and short for us, it's it's really short it's, for us. So yeah, um, um, I say go and build your shelves or whatever you're gonna do, and get your stuff set up. I'm gonna probably uh, I'm gonna make my own dinner because it's not waiting at the table for me upstairs. Um, and then I'll probably play for a little while. And then by the time I'm done playing, that might be when you're ready to get on. So I'll jump on and watch you later on and try to help you. If if you get stuck in like a repetitive circle, I'll see if I can help you out. Hang on, it's my look. There's somebody behind me without a shirt on. Oh oh oh! Hey. <laughs> uh, and every everyone that doesn't know what we're talking about here, just be happy about that because you know that's so glad you didn't experience it. Although we might have somebody in here that did, and they're just not talking. But we do yeah. have we do have yeah. a group, a support group for that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna cut you loose because I know you got stuff to do. Um, I actually probably my dogs probably got to go out. I know I got to feed them dinner at six o'clock, so it's their their dinner time. So. And then I'll pop on and I'll chit chat with you on, on your stream. If you get on there and you play some fallen order later, I'm probably going to play something for a little bit and then I'll get settled in and I'll grab like my phone or something and I'll sit on the couch and I'll watch you play and I'll try to help you out. Yeah, it's going to be, um, I basically going to pack these all back up and then put them back where I had them. So it's not, um, that way I can just put everything together tomorrow. Um, maybe work on the bookcase a little bit, um, trying to get stuff figured out. So, you know, it's going to be, it's, it's a, it's not like just moving stuff around. It's a big production because, you know, I got to move. I already put stuff on the shelves that, and my girlfriend started putting stuff on the shelves that I just have to move that and find new homes for and whatever. But yeah, it's just, you know, it's not like a quick moving stuff around. It's, it's a multi faceted, multi, um, layered thing that I need to do to take care of it. Um, no, I understand you, man. I'm doing that, you know, like in that room, my Star Wars room, I've been doing that for now two weeks. 
you know, and then everyone's like, oh, it shouldn't take you that long. It'll maybe take you like an hour. It's taken me two weeks and I'm still not done yet. You know, because everything's got to go and then I move it because I don't like it there. And, you know, it's it's taken a while, but I understand. But I am sporting my new uh, new shirt as well today. Uh, I, saw, I saw that. Yeah. So. All right, everyone. Um, thank you for watching. And once again, two med twos back to tank every Monday, eight thirty ish PM Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then whenever they will be fit in and put on there, hopefully you'll get a little bit of notice. Um, we have clocked in with Kylo, and we have um, Coach's Corner. Um, but you know, I have, I have a couple of those coaches corners I need to, um, throw on there. Um, and, um, I already have them recorded. I just haven't put them on there. So maybe I'll get that done. Um, you know, sometime here out. So the, uh, the views went down quite a bit, um, cause it's, they're not new anymore. You know, the, when we were putting them out right with the Mandalorian coming out, um, you know, they were getting twice as many views but you know it is what it is yeah. you know like like we said people aren't doing them people aren't watching um coruscant coach's corner um you know for late breaking mandalorian news they're watching it to see you know what the hell shit we're talking about about the mandalorian because you know it's it's more fun that way right um but yeah All right. Well, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut out so I can get going on this. I can already hear the boys upstairs getting kind of rambunctious and making noise. So, but I'll see you uh, tomorrow okay. probably. Uh, let's see, uh, farm boy. I'll see you tomorrow if you're gonna be on. Uh, let's see, Char Charlie. See you, Mr. Rez. It's always good to see you throwing the wrench down in there. Yeah, most most people that are on here right now um are at least active in the uh the regular chat um will be on our normally around um for the live chat. Um Dale has to work so he, he he's usually there just to say hi, but that's you know perfectly all right. That's what I try and tell people. Um you know, it's not you know even if you want to be on, like talking like you and I are right now, you don't have to be on for the whole thing or a long period of time. If you just want to pop on and say, hey, I have this question or I have this comment or what do you think about this or that, you know, go for it. And that's that's what it's all about. Um, you know, Andy from Holocron calls is like, sorry, I just came out and asked one question. I was like, that's what it's all about. You know, if I, if we can get the, the whole community hopping on there for when they have one question, um, you know, that that's what the whole – the whole purpose of, or my idea, my vision of it, I should say, is. Um, but yeah, all right, I'll let you go. I'll go let you feed your dogs. I'm going to figure out what I want for dinner. Um, oh, I think the bakery closes at eight, so I got to get over there. So I have stuff for today and tomorrow. I mean, you know. Deal. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later, Mike. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you right. or at least chat at, at your stream later on. All right. All right. Peace, brother. No problem. See you later, man. Peace. All right. And then there was one. Well, that's, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, we, uh, we, I'm, I'm really happy with everybody that turned out today for the, uh, the, the chat. Um, I don't know if it was a Sunday thing. My last, when I did it on a Sunday before, it was, it was pretty good too. Um, but Sundays are my day um, to spend with my girlfriend. So she had to go to work, go into work today. Um, so that's why I had this free time to do it. Um, but yeah, so, you know, Mondays, 8.30, two my twos, box to tank. Invite all your friends. Everybody can stop by. Everybody can get in the hot tub, box to tank together and have a party. Like it's going to be at celebration. Um so yeah, that was uh, the uh, the Funko extravaganza that I need to clean up now afterwards. Um, 
and get all the evidence uh, put away. Um, you know, it's not that bad. It's I mean, there's a bunch of Funko boxes, but it's like, you know, clean up all the packing material and bags and stuff like that. That, um, Yeah. Yeah, Royal Farm Boy, we had a bunch of people in here um, tonight, a bunch of our friends. Um, so, you know, hopefully we can get some more stopping in back tomorrow. Um, yeah. I guess that's about it. Um, I mean, I know I've said it three or four times, but I'm going to go uh, clean up this mess and do a little organizing and do some dinner and uh, maybe do a little live stream um, of the video game later on. And then uh, if you're around, um, stop by, hit me up on the video game. We'll, uh, We'll do some chat and then while I try and figure out um, this video game and how to further my life through gaming. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But, all right, everyone. I said good day. May the force be with you.